Let's catch up with what's new in Cleaver. First thing, we have Teams. Teams has landed. You can now create a team within Cleaver and assign resources to it. Just to show you what that looks like real quick, you could add a new team, give your team a name, add your members, apply the different resources to that team and click on add and then boom, you have your own team. Just to note, team functionality is only available on the pro subscription plans and also there's an additional charge per user per month. Next up, we have a new way to submit feedback and support issues. Click on the little ring icon right there, hover over it, it says feedback and support and then click on what you want to submit. If it's an idea, if it's feedback, or if it's an issue, select that item, fill in the title, fill in the description, click on send, and we will receive that and respond accordingly. If you're interested in what we're using, it is called Feedmas. It is awesome, and oh, by the way, it's uh, one of our products that we're building right now. If you wanna give it a try out, we would love to hear your thoughts. Go to feedmas.com and sign up. Are you looking for a free server to act as a sandbox environment or even host some of your lower priority websites? Well, you can sign up for Oracle. They have a free server option, and we also integrate with them now via Cleaver. So with Cleaver, you could provision a new free server. For now with Oracle, we're just providing access to their free server plans. We hope that this makes onboarding a little easier for new users that trial Cleaver, as well as give another option for our subscribers for a sandbox environment. It's not too shabby. When you're in Cleaver, be sure to click on that little laboratory beaker icon. That way you can see what we have in our lab space right now. Currently we're testing out new features for Laravel Horizon to check to see if your SSL certificates have any issues and also a one-click Sockety server installation. This is pretty sweet. If you guys have real-time data needs, check out Sockety. We also have a couple of guides that we're putting together to show you how to use Sockety with a Laravel app. If you want to test out any of these lab items, click on requests and we'll go in and enable it for you. And all right, all right, those are some of the new things with Cleaver. If you have anything that you want to see in Cleaver and want to send us some feedback or new ideas, remember, just click on that little Feedmas icon down here and we'd love to hear your ideas.